Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Analytics account from start to finish. So we'll go all the way from the beginning in terms of setting up a Google account. And then once we have that Google account, we'll go ahead and sign up for Google Analytics. And I will walk you through setting that up on your website. Google Analytics is 100% free to use. It's pretty easy to install and it's used by small and large websites alike, including many of the Fortune 500 companies are using Google Analytics. I firmly believe that all websites should use an analytics platform of some kind, and because Google is one of the best out there and because it is free, I think it's a great option. Any website worth building is a website worth tracking. You need to understand who is visiting your site, how they got there, what pages they're looking at, all of this information and much, much more can help you make important decisions that could end up allowing you to sell more products, it could allow you to acquire more subscribers, and ultimately drive your bottom line. So it's really important that we install an analytics platform, and today I'll show you how to set that up with Google Analytics. The first step in installing Google Analytics is that we need to create a Google account. I highly recommend that you create a separate Google account for your business. You may already be using a Google account or a Gmail account. They are one and the same. You may already be using that on a personal level, but I highly recommend that you create a separate one for your business. So let's navigate to google.com and come over to the top right corner and click the sign in button. If you already have a Google account for your business, you can go ahead and enter your email here. If you do not have an account set up yet, go ahead and click the Create Account link at the bottom. I'm going to assume that you have an account set up and created, so let's go ahead and enter a password and click Sign In. Once you've signed into your Google account, let's navigate to google.com slash analytics. You'll land on a page that looks like this. Go ahead and go to sign in in the top right corner and choose analytics. That will bring you to a page that looks like this. You will need to click the sign up button on the right hand side. Google Analytics works for both websites as well as mobile apps and the tracking method is quite different for each one. In this video I'm going to assume that we're setting it up for a website so we'll leave the website option chosen here at the top. Your account name will most likely be your business name. This is the top level account. It can contain multiple websites and multiple different pieces of tracking code for those websites, but at the very top level, this will probably be the name of your organization. If your company has multiple websites or a few different brands, the website name field is how you're gonna denote which website we're referring to. I like to put the website's domain name in this box. The next field for website URL is exactly what you'd expect it to be. Just go ahead and enter your site's URL in this box. Make sure that you choose either HTTP or HTTPS if your site is served up securely using an SSL certificate. Industry category is optional, but Google will show you some benchmark data if you choose an industry. They will show you some data in other industries so you can compare your business to others in a similar industry. There's no harm in providing this information, so I would recommend that you go ahead and choose the industry that most closely represents your website. Reporting time zone, just go ahead and choose the time zone that you're located in. The last option here are some data sharing settings. I'll let you read through uh, the links here to see what these are about and then decide for yourself whether you'd like to share this information uh, with Google, with their support team, and with their account specialists. So I'll leave that completely up to you. If you'd not like to share your data with any of these four options, just go ahead and uncheck the box. And once you've done that, we're ready to click the Get Tracking ID button at the bottom. You'll be prompted to accept Google's Terms of Service Agreement. So this pop-up box will appear. Go ahead and click I Accept. That was the final step in setting up and creating your Google Analytics account. However, we now need to install the Google Analytics code on our website so that analytics can start gathering information about our site and presenting it to us in their reports. 
there are several ways that we can go about installing Google Analytics. Some of these options depend on which content management system or CMS that we're using. Google has some help articles for specific CMSs like WordPress, Wix, and others. I will go through a couple of the very common ways to install analytics on your site, and I will also specifically focus on a few ways to do so with WordPress. If you're using WordPress, one of the best ways to install Google Analytics on your site is using a popular plugin called Google Analytics by Monster Insights. This plugin was formerly called Google Analytics by Yoast, but Yoast sold it to another company. This plugin is still very well maintained and supported, so you don't have to worry about the plugin author disappearing, and you can also get pretty good support even for the free version of this plugin. There is a pro version that you can upgrade to that has some more features, but for most users, the free version that you can find in the WordPress plugin repository is more than enough to do what you need to get your basic Google Analytics set up. Once you've logged into your WordPress admin area, navigate to Plugins and Add New. Probably the easiest way to find this plugin is to do a keyword search. Just enter Monster Insights, all one word with no space, and hit Enter. The Google Analytics by Monster Insights plugin should be the first one that appears over here in the top left corner. Go ahead and click the Install button, and as soon as it's finished installing, you should be able to click the Activate button to make the plugin active. Once you activate the plugin, you'll notice a new section in your admin area down near the bottom that's called Insights. Let's navigate to Insights and Settings to get started. On this Settings screen, the first thing that we'll need to do is authenticate with our Google account. That will allow our WordPress website to communicate with Google and vice versa so that we can send Google information about our website visitors. So go ahead and click this Authenticate with your Google account button. An important thing to note is that you are logged in to your Google account that we created in the previous step. You will need to be logged into this account in order to connect the two services. You should see your Google account Gmail address in the top right hand side of this pop-up. Just make sure that that's the correct account that you have set up Google Analytics for. And this pop-up is just asking for your permission for your WordPress site to be able to access Google Analytics data and you want to click Allow. Next you'll see a code that is generated by Google. Go ahead and copy this code onto your clipboard and then we're going to navigate back to our WordPress admin area and paste that code in the box. Once we've pasted that code into the box, go ahead and click Save Authentication Code. After we authenticate with Google, there is one additional step. We need to tell Analytics which profile that we want it to track. In other words, this is which one of our websites that we have set up with Google. Because Google allows us to create multiple different websites or a different ID for each brand, there might be multiple profiles in one account, so we just need to tell it which website we are using. Go ahead and click the Select a Profile dropdown. And if you have only created one website, you should only have one option here. The default name is all website data, and it should be under the property name that you defined when you created your Google account. Go ahead and click on all website data to choose that profile. There are a few additional settings that we can set up here, which I'll go over briefly. Track outbound click and downloads. I would recommend that you go ahead and check that box. This will just add additional click and download data from your website into Google Analytics that you might want to use at a later date, so it doesn't hurt to go ahead and start tracking that now. If you'd like to give the plugin author some feedback uh, that's anonymous about just some of the basic WordPress version you're using, what version of the plugin you're using, as well as some of the different features that you may or may not be using of the plugin, you can go ahead and check this box to allow the plugin author to see some anonymous data. Anonymize IPs, I won't go into details, but most websites will not need to check this, so I recommend that you leave it unchecked unless you know what you are doing. For ignore users, I like to leave it to the default of administrator and editor. 
This means that if a WordPress user with the administrator or editor role is logged into the website, then Google Analytics data is not sent to Google and it will just ignore you as a visitor on the site. The Google Analytics by Monster Insights plugin also has a dashboard that will display some basic analytics data for you right within the WordPress admin area. This can slow down the plugin just a little bit, and so if you'd like to disable that, you can go ahead and check this box right here. When you've finished with those general settings, go ahead and click the Save Changes button at the bottom. Those are all the basic settings that you need to get set up. So your WordPress site is now ready to start sending data to Google Analytics, and you can start analyzing your traffic. I would highly recommend that you either use a Google Analytics plugin or that you use Google Tag Manager. One of those two ways are the two recommended ways to add Google Analytics to a WordPress website. However, if you are not using WordPress or as an absolute last resort and last option, um, if you are using WordPress, I will show you how to add analytics tracking code directly to your website files so that it loads on every page and starts tracking data. You'll need to log into your Google Analytics account and you'll land on the home screen that looks like this. Go ahead and navigate to the admin area up top. Make sure that the proper account and property is selected. If you only have one property, then that will be selected by default, but you can use this drop down here to select an additional property if you have more than one in your account. Once you have the correct property selected for your website, go ahead and click on Tracking Info, and then click on Tracking Code. On this page, you'll see your tracking ID along with the entire website tracking script that you'll need to install on your website. So under Website Tracking, let's go ahead and click in this box and copy this entire script. Once that script is copied to your clipboard, you'll need to navigate to your website files. I'm going to use WordPress's 2017 theme as an example here. If you are building a custom website and not using WordPress or any other CMS, you may have a different file for every page on your website, or you might have an include file for your header and navigation. You would want to open up this include file. Whatever file you use to load code at the very top of your website and where that code is loaded on every single page of your site, this is the file where you'll want to add your Google Analytics script. In my WordPress example here with the 2017 theme, you'll see that I am opening up the header.php file. This file gets loaded on every single page of my website. Google recommends that we place the tracking code in the head section of our site before any other calls to any other CSS style sheets or JavaScript files. So I'm going to navigate to that head section and I'm going to go before the PHP call to the WP head, which is where many other style sheets and JavaScript files are loaded through. Because we want the analytics tracking script to be fired before those, I'm going to place this before the call to the WP head function. Once you've pasted your tracking script in, it should look something like this. Make sure that you go ahead and save this file and then use an FTP program to upload this file onto your website server. Once you've uploaded that file onto your server, you can navigate back to your Google Analytics dashboard and click this Send Test Traffic button. Once you click that button, the zero active users right now should change to one active user and this will confirm that your tracking code is installed and Google can read it properly. And now you are finished installing your tracking code and you're all set up and ready to go. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like one of these related videos below. And if you found it helpful, consider subscribing to our channel. Or check out our website at wpsmackdown.com for written tutorials and guides.